players, if you like roll and write games that offer you some strategic decisions without having too much going on, then you'll want to check out Merchants of Magic instead of Watch Tale. In this game, you will roll four dice every round of 10 rounds, and you will use them to fill out different spots on your sheet. You will use two dice per, per round, but you can also use some extra dice for free at first, but then having to pay potions for them later on. As you're filling them out, you'll be able to fulfill orders that are currently in front of you, but pay attention to where those orders are in front of you because they will rotate in front of different players every round, so you will not always have the same options available to you. You also start the game with a sponsored adventurer who are looking for certain items, and if you fulfill those, you will earn a couple of in-game bonuses as well as their points at the end of the game. If you fill out certain materials or energies, you will also be able to get some mastery bonuses during the game. If you're first, you get a few more points than if you finish it later on. On, but that'll be a few more points for you as well and like I said you will be earning potions throughout the game as well which you can use to manipulate those dice and again pay for extra dice later on in the game. I'm a really big fan of Roll and Write games in general and I thought that this one was really cool. I thought that it was really interesting how you could use the different dice um, in different columns and you had to have greater or less than depending on where you were trying to fill out and it's really interesting to see knowing that those items are cycling in front of you it's really interesting to say oh I'm gonna focus on getting the stuff that's in front of me right now or maybe you'll look ahead to see oh I don't think the person next to me is going to finish that so maybe that'll be in front of me next so I can kind of plan ahead for that. Um, I think that it's just really interesting to kind of balance that or maybe focusing on your adventurer first to get those little bit of bonuses that they have. And there's also some potential for end game points as well. If you fill out some of these charms, then you'll be able to get bonuses for different items that you've completed depending on the category. So I know there is a lot going on in the sense that you have a lot of decisions that you can make. You have a lot of choices and how you use those dice round to round, especially if you've gotten a lot of potions and can manipulate them even more. But it's not so heavy or anything like that that it's complicated or hard to understand, especially if you're already familiar with other roll and write games. So I definitely recommend this one and you can check out my full thoughts on the blog today.